Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Masco and today we're gonna play Stories the Path of Destinies. Uh, I more or less no clue what this game is. I think it's something like Fable. What I saw in the trailer but with animals. It's in this month the uh, PlayStation Plus free to download so yeah I had to try it. Once upon a time the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards and wine. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods, midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. Hmm, I didn't think it would uh, jump in like this. I thought it was a little loaded screen before, but apparently not. And... Uh, I know the screen is uh, a little too big for my TV, I don't know why. I tried to fix it, but... I don't know what's wrong. It's just this game. So. Uh, I played another game, yes, before this, uh, the Deadly Tower of Monster, I think it's called. I'm gonna upload both at the same day and uh, so you may choose if you want to want me to continue with any of them the kid was looking down watching his city burn sorry kid Renato told the kid look if we give them the book they'll leave you alone my mother died for this book I promised her I'd protect you oh damn it the kid had run off with the book of course so hmm. Renato had to run after him. Okay. Pushing some buttons. All I can do right now is uh, run and hit. Wee. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner. Which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, <laughs> Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! <laughs> Ravens cawed and rushed at him. Nice. Right, uh, point one enemy is about to attack. Ah, oh, okay. Got it. Oh, I split him, him. Splitted him in half. I like this dude. A drop ship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. Hmm. Hold to grab to aim. Release the throw. Got it. Nice. Oh, right. The Gate of Heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. 
making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. <laughs> had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renata going to get a hero sword? From this schist. Or and wind essence? That sounds about right. Perfect. Nice. This is where crafting area where you can craft upgrade powerful magic sword, gathering the required material from chests scattered through the Boreas. Ah, sorry. Uh, the selection sword currently levels and special power. The selection sword special power at the next level. <laughs> Look badass, yes. The resolution need upgrade to the selection sword or 303. Okay. Current level, not crafted yet. Uh, collecting for mature crafting sword. Looks better. Okay. Uh, you have enough research. Oh, yeah. Hero sword. Q E D. Whoa. Ooh. 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 Okay. No, sorry. Thirty orbs. So. Okay. Bye. But what's this? And what's this? This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. Hmm. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I hopped, said the kid. Wise-ass kid. <laughs> hey, look out behind you! Cute, said Renardo. Ah, oh, ravens. Time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. How he done it? Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. <laughs> okay. Skills. Each time you gain a level, you also gain skill points. Spend your skill point at the altar's shadow through Boris to gain new powerful abilities or upgrade existing ones. <sighs> there are four types of skills. The more truth you discover, the more ties you unlock. Nice. Uh, skill info here you can find the description of each skill and this unlock requirements. Okay. You have a skill point to spend, go and buy a hook and sh hook shoot skill. Hmm. I was gonna look a little what everything is. It was starting to come back to him. Oh. Something you've never completely forgot. You know like nothing, Arctic Fox. The Game of Thrones. The more he'd probably remember. Oh, okay. Wait. All right. 
I forgot to look which uh, bottom it was. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. <laughs> she could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. Oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its ivy. What? I did not see that coming. The book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes. And the kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. I did not see that kid die. Huh. Oh, wait. You can pick this up. Oh, come on. What's the big deal about this book, anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. Maybe he should. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cored the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. <laughs> Where can you run? Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. So that was the years ago. Doing a thorough that... job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life. It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. A sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. The legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lupino or the Sky Ripper. Oh no. You can't make a new old friend. No, that's true. Uh, the rebel was out of time and the runner needed game changer. Even through Lapino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer. He could come up with some hairbrained shames. Maybe rescue him was worth it. Built in Sky Reaper. Oh, the rebel you know was out of time and Renard needed a game changer as uh, an artifact that defeated the lost god would indeed be a game changer through it was split into two pieces many years ago Renardo could rebuild it by first getting its arms oh no I say my friend or I become godlike Oh no! I mean, my heart, if I say so, goes with my say my friend, of course. 
But then again, I want infinity power. Oh shit. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, I want the Sky Reaper. But I can't leave my friend. Fuck! I have to go with my friend. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that what he does did the not box exactly shoes? own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind the winged horse. Okay, if you say so. Fuck, I wanted the sword. Do I have to play it all over again just to get the sword? Oh, I will fucking play it all over again to get the fucking sword. Uh, okay. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had had everybody fled the ravens? If I craft a sword now, it's going to be really short. Where? Gems. Gems suck again. Okay. The counter has three socket into which you can put gems. Select one and socket C of gems. Each gem has three levels and its effect increase with each level. Pick up a gem you already have without the upgrade that gem level. Okay, nice. You can find gems in the chest of earth. Okay. So I just have to check them. No. Oh. I have to try to fix that screen. Wait. There's. I can't fix the screen. I can't see how much shit I have. Nothing. And I can't upgrade my sword. But I can destroy that. I cannot destroy that. Anything here? No. No. What's this? A teleporter. This is quite the view, he thought. Not a teleporter. I see three ravens. Four, five, six ravens and a dead People rabbit. People were frightened these days. Just two weeks passed, Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the ravens call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. Renardo's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Wrong sword, okay. Can I go in here? Smashed some pumpkins, I could not. L not pumpkin, a watermelon. Use altar. Oh, I have zero skill points, okay. But I can go through here, but not yet. I want to. I told you. Rep. Carrot. Starting to getting hungry too, as well. 
me that is, not him. Wait, I can't go? It was good to practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. What is this? Oh, do the flip. <laughs> Speed what? I got a shemus for that? For sure, thanks. So I can't go up, so I have to go this way. Too bad, actually. Can't we just agree to disagree? Said an item. No? Fuck. Come on. Who's gonna attack? Fuck. Everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? <laughs> Renata felt a little better. One all good, good. I need some food. Fuck you! I ne I needed that. All right, let's go this way. I'm happy I went this way. Went for nothing. It's a trap! Ooh, nice! Fire essence! I'm going to be, to be careful and look everywhere so I don't miss anything. Because it could be an ore here. It was nothing. Renato felt like he was ready to learn new things. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. Hmm. Luck required. Okay. Dash. Ooh. It was starting I to come like back. I like it. To something you never completely forgot. Like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Oh, really? Ah. Oh, This is actually harder than I thought it would be. Wait, how long have we been playing? Oh, 25 minutes soon. Why is it so much alter everywhere? can't see how much it's have loaded. It's uh, down in the middle. But it's so zoomed in that I can't see it. Renata felt ready to become fast. 
faster, stronger, bolder. If only you could figure out which. <laughs> Thank you. Full health. It feels like something. No, okay, I can't go there. Are you a skeleton? Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit nope. was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Mm. Uh, pay a call to Zenobia. Ryan and Lipan were back together, but Ryan still needed a game changer to save her. Maybe Lapino were right. Maybe they could go kidnap the Empire, only his only daughter and greatest general, Zenobia. Extracting intel out of her would turn the tide and civil war. That's mean torture her. Uh, the Eye of the Lost God must hold great power. Renardo and Sap <laughs> Lapino were back together, but Renardo still needed a game changer to save Rebellion. Even through. Oh! Wait, this is red and this is blue. So, good path, bad path. I'm gonna. Go and I'll just read this hand. Of course, there was an issue. Maybe he could be still harness the power within the Lapino cell. Nope! I'm gonna. Pay a call to Zenobia. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her, the rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. Oh, she'll tell the interrogators, all right," said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Hmm. So we're gonna find her and torture her. Oh, ha ha! That's what everyone wants to do with their ex. No, I'm just kidding. Or am I? So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. This game were really good actually. I liked it. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? Of course this not. Was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Have yeah. you ever felt you were just going around in circles? Bernardo felt like that. <laughs> That's actually a nice touch. Uh, I'm gonna quit it here. And yeah, like I said, you may choose which you want to me to continue. Or if you want me to continue both. But um, yeah, leave a comment, let me know. And we'll talk to each other in the next video. Cheers and bye!